Uh, hi everybody, uh, this is my second video from my 2015, September 2015 trip to uh, Yellowstone. And uh, this particular short journey uh, travels from just south of the Mud Volcano area uh, above the uh, Yellowstone Lake, uh, heading north towards uh, Canyon Village. Uh, and I've got the camera kind of skewed pointing to the right a little bit because most of the thing of interest is to the right. And we're coming up here pretty shortly to uh, the mud volcano, which will be on the left. You won't actually see it because it's kind of off the road. There it is there. <clears throat> so basically all along uh, uh, the right side of the road here, and again we're heading north, uh, north of the Yellowstone River, and that's the Yellowstone, I'm sorry, the Yellowstone Lake, and that is the Yellowstone River that's to the right of us here. And the uh, River snakes through an area uh, that is similar to the Lamar Valley north of, of here and is perhaps a, a secondary, almost Serengeti-like uh, area within Yellowstone. We had a, sort of an interesting cloud cover that day, so we, we got a, a good deal of sort of dappled lighting going in and out of the uh, clouds, shadows. <clears throat> so we're heading basically downstream, so losing altitude uh, as we follow the course of the Yellowstone River to our right as it heads downstream. At numerous places uh, along this road, uh, it, off to the left, and again, you don't see that uh, because the camera's pointing more to the right, but off to the left, uh, the, the ground slopes upwards, and there are numerous little streams and creeks that feed into the Yellowstone River, and we're approaching, uh, I believe this is uh, Elk Antler Creek. So, obviously, they pass underneath the road through culverts or whatever, and uh, there's numerous of those along this route. It's another one of these streams, uh, Trout Creek, I think it is. <coughs> So in addition to the major wildlife, uh, you know, the big animals like the bison and elk and uh, there are bears, both black bear and, and uh, grizzlies, uh, in addition to them you have lots and lots of little critters too, uh, like otters and beavers and uh, fox and, you know, it, it's, um, it's a great place to visit and it's great if you can spend time here. It, you know, you drive along as I'm doing here, you, you may see something, you might not see anything, it's just, you know, luck of the draw. But if you go there just with the intent of sitting out, 
maybe pulling alongside the road, getting out, sitting in a chair, and maybe <laughs> sipping a glass of wine or something. It's just, it's just so beautiful. <clears throat> so we're winding along here and again we're just following along the course of the uh, Yellowstone River and in places it kind of moves away from the road in other places it meanders back towards it and then you'll have these little uh, sort of hills that the road climbs up and usually at or near the top of these hills to be pull-offs for like viewpoints as you see here So this was again in September of 2015, right around about the 24th or 25th of September. <clears throat> and I'd been to Yellowstone in September before, and it, at being at the end of the summer season, the crowds are a lot less than certainly during the summertime. But I found that the place was fairly crowded in late September of last year more so than in my previous September trip. Not sure why. Another stream crossing here, I think this one's Wolf Creek. After the <clears throat> demise of the Druid Pack, the Wolf Pack uh, that um, made their home in the Lamar Valley back around 2002-2004 time frame, <clears throat> after the demise of that, I think a lot of the uh, more of the wolf activity um, was on this area in this area of of the park versus, for example, the Lamar Valley. Um, but I don't know that that's true anymore. Nothing remains constant.
Now, most people that come to Yellowstone or any of the you know major national parks for that matter, it's generally a short stay. You know, I think the average stay at the Grand Canyon is like five hours or something like that. Probably more longer here at Yellowstone, but you know, you owe yourself if you're going to come to a place like this to spend some time a week two weeks and then travel about the park but devote at least a few days of doing almost nothing just find a nice spot set up a chair and just watch Soak it in. Otter Creek. I wonder if there's any places where otters and raccoons share the same habitat. I kind of doubt it. All right, off to the right here is uh, part of the loop road for the Grand Canyon of the uh, Yellowstone. And you'll see the upper and lower falls. And so this is the southernmost <clears throat> portion of the loop and uh, there's other entrances and, and, and whatnot off to the right uh, as we head further north. Off to the right here in just a second is a view port or a view spot for the, um, what they refer to as the brink of the upper falls. So you can pull in and, and, and have a vantage point to see that. the northern end of that loop. This road is pretty much closed more than half of the year during the winter time. 
So from October-ish through May time frame, give or take, uh, it's impassable. It's closed, chained off. At that point, the park belongs to the animals. Okay, we're getting very close to the end of this particular journey um, as we approach uh, Canyon Village. So I, I appreciate you uh, staying around to watch this video, and as I said, I have another video on the Yellowstone uh, that you might want to take a look at my channel. So if you like this video, maybe you'll thumbs up the video or, and subscribe. And again, I appreciate you watching and uh, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.